Hi there everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you what I am putting into my twin toddler boys Easter baskets. So for their Easter baskets and all the goodies that go in them, I shopped at Target in the dollar spot section and on Amazon.com and I was able to put together some really great baskets for them. So first of all, I want to show you the basket itself. It's just this orange mesh basket from the dollar spot at Target. It was $3. I really like the idea of getting a multi-purpose basket. I can use this in their bedroom after they're done taking all of their Easter stuff out of it. One of the things that is most important to me when it comes to putting together a gift for my babies, I also thought of it a lot when I put together their Christmas gifts, was uh, books. We are Christians and of course Easter is more to us than the Easter bunny and springtime and chicks and you know all of that tulipy sort of thing. Although that is fun and I think it absolutely has its place as well as giving gifts to each other and that sort of a thing. It's wonderful to be able to be generous and give your children things but Easter has a much deeper meaning. The true meaning of Easter was that Christ came to earth and he died for our sins and we want to raise our children up in our faith and we got them this sweet little book. It's called The First Easter and it follows this little lamb around Nazareth and he sees the empty tomb and it goes through the story in such a beautiful way. It tells the true meaning of Easter. And since we are people of faith, that means so much to us. Another book that I got for the boys, and I'm so excited about this one, is this Richard Scary I Am a Bunny book. I love that it had the little bunny in it. It's a classic Richard Scary, and it takes the bunny through the different seasons of the year. It's just a very heartwarming, precious, visually beautiful book and a lot of things that I can point out to the boys and we can talk about. Another thing in the reading material, again, is another Richard Scary book. My boys love Richard Scary and I love the books, the board books. They're very simple, they show the words next to the pictures and it's Oh, it is such a great way to sit down with a toddler and read a book to them. The boys are definitely starting to develop their skills at the dinner table with uh, using utensils, using plates and bowls. They're in a stage right now where I really want to encourage them in their development in that area. And so I ordered from Amazon.com and they were cheaper. I uh, compared the prices from Amazon to Target. I got this set of three. It's the lime green, orange, and aqua blue little divided trays. These are from the Replay brand. They're made out of old milk jugs. So they're recycled, they're eco-friendly, and I think the colors are darling. And I try to steer away from really branded or cartoony sort of items. So I like just color block sort of things. I will divvy this set of three up amongst the two baskets. And then um, to go along with that, in the same color scheme from the same brand, I have the Replay Four Spoons and Four Forks, perfect size for toddlers, little utensils. These again are made from recycled milk jugs. What I really love about this set and the, the reason I ended up getting this set wasn't necessarily because of the fact that it's recycled, although that's a bonus, that makes me feel great, um, was the fact that it didn't come with knives. When I look for toddler utensils, it's always a set of fork, spoon, and knife, which, you know, makes sense, but babies don't use knives. Forks were the things that I was really looking forward to, so that will be going into their basket. Okay, I have some great snacks here for the boys. They're too young to really eat candy, and if they do, my mom and my grandma are going to provide more than enough candy for them this year. And so I just got snacks that I know that they already love. And ones that I wouldn't typically just buy for them because we buy in bulk and we try to really save money as far as our groceries go. And so these are definitely treats for the boys. So um, first I got these Earth's Best Organic Little Food Pouches, Apple Peach Oatmeal, Pear Carrot 
apricot. They'll love those. I got these uh, goldfish crackers, little boxes that we can throw in their diaper bag. Um, they're the colored kind. They're like the special edition for Easter. And then I got the Gerber Graduates Puff. They're a little old for these, but they still love them. And I got the sweet potato flavor, which Liam loves. And I got the vanilla flavor, which Judah loves. And then to help them wash it all down, I could not pass up these adorable little cold tumblers. And you know, you guys, if you've been watching any of my channels, this one or our daily vlogging channel, you know that I love to have my coffee cold. And so the boys are used to seeing me drink out of a cold tumbler like this. And they always want to sip. They love drinking out of straws, like no valve or any like special like rubber mechanism that keeps it from tipping. They like do really well when it comes to just drinking with a straw out of a tumbler. And so I thought these would be great for when they're sitting in their high chairs eating lunch and they want to drink something. We'll keep the uh, traditional sippy cups for when they're walking around the house because those are less likely to spill. But oh my goodness, look with the little frogs. I think I might drink out of this one, although that doesn't hold enough coffee to get me through the first hour of the day. I have this two pack of big toddler bibs, which we absolutely need more of. <laughs> the other day I put their bibs on them and I was like, these just barely cover your chest. They were getting food all over them still. And so I realized, you know, it's the really big bibs that work the best for us. And these are like the um, wipeable kind and they have a little pocket in here in case stuff falls and you can just like, pick it up and put it back on their tray. <laughs> Am I the only mom who does that? I can't be, I'm sure other gals do that. And then I got this two pack of little uh, snack catchers. I think these things are genius. I have friends with toddlers who use these. I haven't purchased these yet. Um, I saw these on Amazon and I thought these are gonna be perfect for the boys when we go to the park and they want to have their little goldfish or their little Gerber graduate puff things. Now we've got some entertainment things for the boys. We got the boys the first Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2. One will get one, one will get the other. And um, Weston and I love the Despicable Me movies and they've got such great music and they're goofy and the boys love the minions already. These next three things might be a little bit too old for them, but between now and their birthday time, I am sure they are going to be ready to use these. And um, so I just had to pick them up because I wanted I wanted to have them available for them when they are ready to use this sort of a thing. They might be there, I don't know, we'll have to give it a try. Um, but it's these art on the go. I got these in their $3 at Target in the little dollar spot section. Art on the go, it's this adorable little canvas covered coloring folder binder sort of a thing. And you can see here in the window, it has their uh, crayons. And then when you open it up, it's um, zip tied closed right now. Um, but there's a little pocket right here that holds a pad of blank paper. And I thought this would be great for the car um, if they're past the stage of just chewing on the crayons, which that's probably what they do right now. We'd probably have to practice with them to get used to you know, how to actually use this. But I couldn't pass these up. I got one for each of them um, because eventually when we're in the car, this might, or when we're at a restaurant, this might be a really good activity it means a lot to both of us to be able to establish traditions as a family as we go forward. I talked a little bit about family traditions during Christmas time, um, and we don't really have any established family traditions for Easter time, but we were talking about it and we thought one of the great ways to celebrate the fact that we have been given new life in Christ because of his death and resurrection, one of the ways to celebrate that and to signify it is by bringing new life to the earth. And we thought a great way to do that, that would um, be a good way to include the boys, even though they're not aware of what's happening, but it would just be a great thing to do as a family, is to plant some flowers or bushes or a tree or, you know, do a little gardening sort of a thing as a family. And so for the boys in their Easter baskets, I found these in the dollar spot at Target. They were a dollar each. They come in this little terracotta pot. I got a grow kit for them. So this one is a sunflower grow kit. They've got seeds and soil in there and this is basically the start so we water this and give it sunlight and then we transplant it into a place in our yard um, and this is a poppy grow kit 
and it's the same sort of a thing. We've been given new life and we wanna celebrate it as a family. So I think that this is a great way to do that and we are gonna be including that in the baskets as well. I got these little chalkboard clips. It's a set of three. A lot of their stuff at Target in the dollar spot comes in sets of three. I only have two boys, so you know. I'm gonna be uh, clipping these to the basket with their name on it. So those are the things that I am putting in my twin toddler boys Easter baskets this year. It is so wonderful to me to be able to bless my children with new things even if they're just trinkets or snacks. It is so wonderful to be able to put work with my hands into putting together a basket for them. It's so gratifying. I love being able to make this video for you all. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with another parent of toddlers so that they can get some Easter basket inspiration. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when I post new videos and you can stay connected. Thank you so much for watching this video today and I will see you in my next video. Happy Easter!